Hello friends, my name is Yuri Kovalenk. As I promised you, I prepared a video about creating a device that automatically delivers liquid syrup. It works like this. not as easy it might seem. So let's start everything in order. Uh, to create these projects you will need liquid soap with about a button that constantly sticks, Arduino Uno microcontroller, ultrasonic range finder, The servo motor or the servo, it is the cheapest and it is the servo motor that can be connected directly to the Arduino Uno microcontroller. Free color LED or you can use two LEDs of a different color. Circuit board for Arduino, it has two resistors for one kilo ohm which will be required to connect the RGB LED. Pet Summer. connecting wires and some tools that you will see in this photo. Friends, the moment of device manufacturing is come. In this hand the servo motor is connected uh, directly to the Arduino. It is important to know that not every servo motor can be connected directly to the Arduino. I connect the Arduino without a resistor and I used one kilo ohms resistor to the connect Friends, you can find the program code of the description of this video. A few photos about the boil process. but it doesn't work. The problem was that two things. The first problem, this is a very weak servo motor. He just can't press the button. I had to redesign the device. Let's see how it was. So the first experiment didn't work out and I had to change this device. I had to see what was inside. Here in this place was a small ball which you need to get rid of. This device had to be cut. I saw a spring and a small ball.
the spring had to be shortened a little. I had to get the membrane and then side paper and uh, reduce friction. My favorite assistant duct tape is doing a good job. Now the button is pressed much better. We put everything as it was in its place. I put the top ball in vain, for this project it is not needed. I had to remove the ball and the device worked. There is very little left. I supplement the electro circuit which a LED and a speaker. This is not difficult to do if you have worked with Arduino at least a little.
I hope this project will bring its creativity to the fight against COVID-19. Friends, I will be glad if you write comments on this video. Thank you for your attention. Sincerely, Yuri Kovalenak.